What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Marco and today we are taking a look at the Bark River Knives Strike Force 2 in CPM 3V. So this one's one that I've, that I've been waiting for a long time. I've, I had seen, uh, not videos, but I'd seen photos of the Strike Force 1, the first version of the knife. And it finally, uh, DLT Trading had a kind of a pre-order. So I, this, this configuration is one that I wanted. It, this is the, the pine cone with the uh, white and black uh, resin. So, so I got in uh, uh, fairly early on on the on the pre-order and waited a long time and then finally got it and then finally had a chance to test it out. And as you can see, I did really test it out. So, uh, I for anybody has, who has seen my channel, I I like Bark River knives quite a bit. Uh, it's the for fixed blades is the one brand that I have the most knives of, and and this one fits uh, fits fairly fairly well into into the <laughs> into my obsession with with Bark River knives. It's 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 a really good knife, and we'll 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 get into it. Uh, it does have a, a couple of of, of little uh, details that I need to tell you about. Uh, before we get too much into it, let me give you some size comparisons because, like I said, this is. This is a large knife, and what we have here is the SC3. So uh, that's, uh, if you've seen my channel, this is kind of the, usually I like to have a four inch blade uh, on me whenever I'm, you know, I'm out in the woods. Uh, I generally don't carry anything much bigger than this on, on, on my hip. This uh, size of a knife, it's more of the one that I would have at camp or in the car or, you know, I, I generally don't don't drag something like that along. And this is the SE5. So it is uh, it is actually a f kind of a full inch uh, uh, longer than the SE5. It's a big knife. I don't think it's quite as thick as the SE5, so you can see them here. It's not quite as thick, it's just a smidge uh, uh, thinner, uh, which which is good because such a long blade, it makes it a lot more uh, manageable to, uh, to use. And for those of you who do not have uh, the SEs, and, or this might be your first fixed blade, I always give you the, the paramilitary two comparisons, and that's the PM2, and this is the pair three. Okay, so this is a big boy. This is definitely, definitely a large knife. I mean, you're looking at a full uh, six and a half ish inches of of blade length. So, yeah, this is. Like I said, this is this is just about the the largest knife that I will that I will purchase. Uh, it's very much in the neighborhood of the of the of the Chris Rick Pacific, very much in the in the realm of the of the TRC Apocalypse, very much in that in in that in that range. So let's let's start with with ergonomics and ergonomics it's what you would expect from from Bark River they have some of the best ergonomics in the business with so they have kind of like the the swell here in the middle it's contoured here but it's not heavily contoured so you can always uh, have it in, in 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 your hammer grip in your saber grip for sure and then all of your reverse grips uh, it work very uh, very well. They uh, the ergonomics are very well. It's 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 contoured in this direction. It's also you can see the coke the coke bottle kind of uh, swell here. It fits my hand really really well. I wear large gloves, and this the the ergonomics on this. I think I think it could fit a little bit of a larger hand, maybe an extra large hand. Uh, and I and I need to be very very comfortable with uh, with that uh, with that uh, with the ergos on this. Uh, I did you know I did a lot of uh, a lot of wood processing, uh, uh, camping type type tasks, bushcrafting type tasks, uh, a little bit of of you know 
kind of food preparation, those kinds of things. And uh, just just a tool at camp. And and it did uh, ergonomically, it's, it's very, very comfortable in the hand. Um, for cutting, so for chopping, it's, 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 it's really, really good. Something this, this big, something this long, you know, you, you, you carry a lot of energy when you're, when you're chopping wood and, but it's, it's also not as thick as I showed you. I uh, like the SE5, which is kind of quarter inch uh, thick. This is slightly uh, uh, thinner than that, but it allows you to, it allows you to, to really get some speed and you, you, you have enough mass to where the chopping is fairly effective on this one. Uh, I think it does. I think it does very, very well. I think it does fairly well in batoning as well. Uh, you know, you 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 set it on the uh, you set it on the log. Uh, it 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 kind of destroys your baton a little bit. So, like this one has a convex grind, right? It's uh, it it kind of curves in towards the edge, uh, like so. It's not a flat grind. It's kind of a convex grind, and. Because of that, it what it does is it 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 splits the wood, and then it's kind of the the the, the cheeks of the knife that really push the wood apart, and all of that works really really well. What happens is that you know if if your log is kind of here, you end up just hitting the tip, and because this is a kind of a little bit of a thinner blade and it tapers, uh, you've got a distal taper right here at the tip. Uh, it kind of destroys your baton. It, the the knife itself batons really well. It's just <laughs> your baton might might suffer the consequences here. Uh, for for other uh, type cutting, it's it's a very large blade. So anything that has to do with kind of finer work is really really difficult. Uh, you know, uh, and I'll sh I'll put up some some photos of as I'm talking of of kind of what we did. Uh, but one thing that did that that does happen with this one is the original had a very uh, a much more aggressive recurve. Okay, this one still has a little bit of a recurve, and that helps for cutting stuff like rope, you know, and cordage. You know, uh, the the recurve kind of draws the draws the cord into the into the edge. So 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 from that standpoint, this one is so slight though that. It, it it works well, uh, but it's so slight that I almost want them want want uh, want them to remove uh, that uh, just because I don't think it helps enough with the cutting, and I think it draws back enough with the sharpening that I would rather uh, I would rather not not have that that small recurve. So so that's all in the in in kind of the performance and, and cutting a uh, portion of the knife. Now, fit and finish, I was actually a little bit disappointed uh, with the fit and finish on this one, which is something that I rarely say with Bark River knives. I, 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 I think that their, their quality control, their, you know, uh, I, I, think it's, I think they make very, very good knives. I have a lot of their knives, but this one, let me give you a couple of examples and hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to tell. If you see here, so you have this kind of, ornamental fuller that that does this kind of sweep but where it hits here and where it hits on the other side is not exactly symmetrical so you have a little bit of a difference right here i don't know hopefully you can tell it's it, it's kind of this this notch is a little bit wider than it is here uh, this line right here is not perfectly it should be kind of perfectly perpendicular to the to the axis of the knife right and it's not quite it's skewed a little bit in this direction so the knife is not perfectly symmetrical and then you have because of this little recurve you have this a little bit of a mess right here at the choil right at first it doesn't have a sharpening choil which i i really don't like but you see here like it, it's like 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 they didn't finish it right there's there's like this this portion of steel that's kind of a weird little thing you know you have no edge right here uh kind of the same thing happened over here even worse so this one surprised me a little bit i don't think you know i i've had like i said i've had a lot of their knives and 
and and the fit and finish the, obviously i'm nitpicking here they're, but they're not cheap knives so 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 i get to nit, nitpick this thing um and for the price uh, obviously all of these little tiny things don't affect the performance of the knife so it's so if if all you care about is just 100 performance then by all means this this is a this is a great knife okay but i do think that they missed a, a couple of little things uh, from the fit and finish and from the quality assurance uh from the qq apqc process now this is 3d so it's uh, i i like 3d a lot it's held out really really well uh, it's still fairly sharp it's still fairly sharp and and I, I I haven't noticed any any chips, even though I've like I said I've I've chopped a baton with with this. All I do is wood, so I don't put it through kind of like uh, like DVK knives, like the the DVK channel where they hit you know steel and and a pan and and and, and all kinds of stuff. I just because I don't think that that's what the knife is is for. So I. I like to do some kind of heavy testing, but just in the stuff that the knife is 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 kind of meant for, right? So uh, from that standpoint, I think there's there's a, a couple of 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 things that they miss from the from the from the fit and finish standpoint. Now the sheath, I actually like the sheath. Uh, I wish that it had more of the contour of the knife, you know, where where it kind of. Uh, this is just kind of symmetrical and the knife is not symmetrical uh, but i do like this thing that comes up and then it wraps around the knife and it wraps it very secure i have um i put the open off uh, uh, leather kind of conditioner uh, to protect it from the weather i think the sheath is uh, a, a lot of the sheets of Wark river you know when they just do kind of the the taco type uh, sheath i i don't like it at all uh, this one, this one, I think is decent. This one, I don't have a problem with. Actually, I think I think it's a it's a, it's a good sheath. It's well built, and then it's got all of these uh, all of these attachment kind of uh, holes here, so you can attach it to to, to kind of whatever you whatever you want. So this one is uh, it's a big one. This one is a heavy knife. So uh, like I said, this for me, uh, whenever if I go camping, it'll stay at camp. It's not something that I take out on a trail. It's a, it's just it's too big. It's too it, it's super heavy. Um, so the, so you can take that for 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 for, for what it's worth, right? I, I generally don't uh, you don't use this big a knife uh, as a carry knife. I think it's too big. But I I, I do use it for the heavy uses uh, in in my camp. You know, so. Um, so airing of grievances, I think I think the the fit and finish is is the one that kind of disappointed me a little bit. I I would still very much recommend the knife. The ergonomics are great. Uh, it's great for batoning. It's great for chopping. Uh, it's um, even so. It's 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 a very large blade, so it's a bit unwieldy to do any of the finer tasks. But you do get like this. I I don't know what to call this this kind of. I, I, it, it wants to be kind of like a ramp, but it's 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 down, right? So, kind of a harpoon, but too long to be a harpoon. So I don't know what to call it, but there's this flat spot where you can put your finger when you want to uh, hold it in kind of like a like a saber grip, and this is very very comfortable uh, to hold. But again, the, the blade is just huge to do any kind of. Usually, you put your finger here when you want to do a little bit of a of a more. Uh, controlled detailed work but this is just a huge blade to do that kind of thing so it's very comfortable it's well done it's just i'm not sure what you use it for so guys uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you hopefully you've enjoyed it and if you did then if i earned your subscription then like and subscribe uh, don't hit that bell and uh, nobody likes to get notification nobody likes to get emails so just subscribe you'll see it in your feed and until i see you at the next one Take care.